Hi guys. Just writing the Misfit Light. Upgrade your surroundings. Boom, boom, boom. All right, let me see. Boom, okay. Oh, what pressure. She had to get that right. Hi. Hi, Kari. Hi, guys. How are you? Hello, hello. Oh, my gosh. Week two of May. We're in it. This is wild. So um, I'm like super, super fatigued. I almost was like needing to just sit out for tonight and record this tomorrow. But alas, here we are. We show up for the things that we say we're going to show up for and we adjust. So here I am and I'm happy to be here. I am glad to see all of you. I know so many of you have so many of you that pop on uh, and watch the replay. She's gro She's glowing. She's growing. She's just like doing all the things. Um, so either way, I'm glad that you all are here. I'm glad that you're investing in yourselves. I'm excited that uh, you have allowed me to be part of that journey for you. So if you are not familiar, if this is your first time to the Misfit Light, well, welcome. The Misfit Light is all about laughing harder, living lightly, and rediscovering you. So each week I bring you a different set of like wisdom or a sermon, uh, and we kind of like sit through different aspects of what's going on internally, and then also connected to kind of like the greater collective spiritual energy of what's going on and what we're moving through, right? You got to show up if you want to blow up. Okay. Um... That just sounds like somebody ate a lot of gluten. Okay, stay on track here. So uh, that's what this community is. It's all about self-growth. It's about wisdom. It's about knowing you are the person who's going to get you to exactly where you need to be, okay? So in the world of, you know, like Instagram coaches and everybody's going to sell you something and everybody's going to, you know, it's like... And yes, I'm here for all that. I know there's a lot of Instagram coaches and, you know, course creators within my community and I'm here for it. What I'm, why I say that and what I want to instill in you is you already have everything you need and you are going to be the person who gets you exactly where you're wanting to go. So let's just like clear that deck. Again, let's laugh harder. Let's live lightly and rediscovering you. It's not about reinventing you, everything that you need, you already have. Let's just get you in a position where like all of that inside, that intuition, all of that can make its way out and then you can grow. Cool? So uh, how I break this down is that each month we have a different like four or five week series, what we're moving through. So this month in May, oh, April was just so much and so much momentum and moving and there was just so much like just so much going on and we just all kind of like stepped through. Hopefully you chose to step through to the other side and you're like, okay, I'm doing this work. I'm deciding like, this is who I am and I'm committing to it. So May has left us in this place of like, oh, okay, holy shit. Like now what do I do? Now how do I show up? How do I act? And what do I, what do I want to do? And it's, it's, May is proving to be a lot, right? It is, it is asking a lot of us, but it's also providing some rest. So if you're feeling like, I know I, I won't speak for you, uh, but for me, I'm feeling like a lot of like this huge influx of energy. And it's like, okay, we're going to do this and we're going to move. And we're going to like all of these things that are wanting to come up and wanting to move through. And yes, we will. We may just not do that all immediately all right now. Right? So May allows us to have a little bit of a respite, a little bit of like, okay, I know all of like this new stuff is coming in and I'm going to give myself a minute to kind of like figure out where I am, where I'm wanting to be and how I want to move forward. Cool. So that's what this whole series has been about is about providing us the space and the questions and the reflection to get us from where we were in April to really where we're gonna be at the end of this year. But really we're starting that work now and we're gonna build on that every month. So last week we talked all about safety. We talked about self-safety. What does that mean? How do we create that for ourselves? Do, do you even identify with that word? What is a word that you... Just getting to this place where anything that starts to come into your orbit, anything that starts to come in, 
you have that sense of self safety to where maybe having more people show up for you isn't so like, uh oh, oh no, right? Because so many people we sit around, it's like, oh, I really want this thing, I want this thing. And then all of a sudden it's like, knock, knock, I'm here, do you want me now? And we're like, oh, never mind, I didn't mean like right now or right away, I don't know what that means. So it's like, no, 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 we're not doing that anymore, okay? We are creating a sense of self-safety so that when everything does come into fruition, which it will, and when it comes in through the way that is in best service of yourself, which it will, you are able to take what's happening and move with it because you trust yourself and you know this is like where you're headed and you know this is what you're supposed to be doing. Cool? So that's what we talked all about is like self-safety. How do you identify with that? Do you feel safe in your body? How are you connected to your nervous system? Do you listen to your nervous system, right? Um, goosebumps, truth bumps. I love it. I'm here for it. That just feels like a, like children's books of goosebumps that we're just teaching them to listen to themselves, which is very spooky. It's real spooky work when you start to really, you know, listen to your own intuition, listen to your sense of self and moving in that direction. So this week we are talking all about if you will it, you can kill it. Okay. Uh, this week we are talking all about surroundings and upgrading your surroundings. Because if you're still sitting in the middle of like a shit friend group, to be perfectly honest with you, like if you're still sitting in a friend group that like doesn't make you feel good about yourself, you don't feel supported, you feel like you've outgrown them, or everybody would rather talk about other people than like work on themselves, you're not going to get to where you want to be, right? If you're still stuck in a job where you're like, nobody notices me, I'm being underpaid, I'm undervalued, I know I can do more, and you're still sitting in that job, you know, 40, 50 hours a week, guess what? You're not going to be able to grow to where it is that you want to go next. Now, I know some of you go, well, Rachel, I can't just leave my job. I understand, okay? I'm on the level, relax. But that's what taking stock of our surroundings is doing for us. That's why when we slow down this month and we take stock of like, what do we gen to, like genuinely want to shift? What needs to be shifted in order for us to get to where we're going? Like for me, it's still figuring out like an influx of when am I doing like the brass tax business side of my business versus when am I creating versus, you know, it's like I, I saw I have a one year old and an almost three year old. OK, like most days I just I'm like, eh, like just from overstimulation. So I'm still working to adjust what is the best like work schedule for myself so that I can show up fully for myself for myself so I can show up fully in my work so I can be present for my kids. Right. And I've been on this journey for a long time. OK, it's been a while of trying to figure out the best strategy for work. So sometimes these take time. They take, you know, um, it's like if you're doing a big puzzle and it's like, OK, we're doing the, the part of the puzzle that's trees. Right. Well, you're going to have a lot of pieces that are for the trees. So it may look like it's a fit. But by the time you go and you want to place that puzzle piece in, it's not the right fit. OK, I got it. And you have to sift through. So there's going to be a lot of things that come through or a lot of different things that you try that may not be the right thing, even though they look like or they mirror something that might be right. So here's what I want to share with you. When you are in that place, it does not mean, oh shit, I'm not doing it right. Or, oh, I'm an idiot. Look at me. I keep trying and it's not working. It's like, I don't like right now is not the time, but if I really breast text right now, broke it down and told you guys how many different things I've been trying in my own personal business, the production company that I own with my husband, like the amount of trial and error of things that like won't work or do work and the amount of money. Oh, uh, I mean, shout out and peace be with the amount of money that I've spent on things, people, consultants thinking like, okay, that'll be the, like the ticket. And then it's not the right fit. But that's sometimes the way that it goes. In order to find that right puzzle piece, in order to find the thing that you need next, you're going to have to try a lot of things. And the difference, when that energy spent of going, oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I should have known better. Oh, everybody else is ahead of me. Feel free to go on that ride. Or take that time spent, that energy, and as quickly as you realize, again, let's go back to the puzzle piece metaphor. You got this big puzzle and you're trying to do the trees on the puzzle and you've got all these different puzzle pieces that look as though they're a fit and you try to move that puzzle piece in and it's not the exact fit, 
the quicker that you can go, and now again, going into your own life, okay? Stay with me as she jumps metaphors, right? And you try to put that one thing into your life and it's not a fit. We don't need a whole parade about how you're an idiot and it didn't work out or you should have known better. What you do is you take that puzzle piece and you put it back. Great, I tried that thing. Now I know what doesn't work. Because the only way to find out exactly what you need, hi Grace, exactly what you need and what works is by doing all of the things that don't work. So get busy finding, well, hopefully finding the right puzzle piece in this metaphor, but like just trying shit. That's what you have to do. And that's exactly what this month is about. That's what going into summer is about, May and June. And a little bit of early July is we're gonna be trying a lot of different things. So with the Misfit Light, every week I make you guys a free workbook. It will always be free. And this workbook is just kind of walks you through what each uh, week is. So if you're a note taker, if you like to journal, if that's the way that you learn, obviously I teach and I like to do offerings in the ways that I learn. Get busy trying shit. Yeah, exactly right, right? So I have a free workbook for you. It's available uh, in my link in bio. Every week we always update it so it's there for you. So right now I'm reading off of that. If you're like, what is she reading? That's what I'm reading off of, okay? So for this week, we said, this week on The Misfit Light, surroundings. Okay, we've been talking a lot about energy the past six weeks, and this week we are cementing in those insights. Who, what, where you surround yourself with makes a major energetic impact. Surround yourself with beauty as you define it, music, florals, nature. Allow your social media feed and bookshelves to reflect who you are in the world, and how you want to operate in it, okay? Amen. Oh, love you too. Good to see you, my friend. Um, so surroundings. Number one, who am I taking in? Allow your social feeds, social calendar, and more to reflect where you're going, not where you've been. This month, energetically, as I define it on a spiritual kind of collective energy, ooh, it's kind of making me very emotional, is, is really asking us right now, you have to close the door on who you've been. You have to close the door on, you know, all of the people of, of their points of view of you, of all of these old stories you've told yourself, you know, and packing for this retreat. I love it. I love it so much, right? Yeah, let's do it. It is time to close the door. We're done with those things because we cannot get to where we're wanting to go leaving that door open, leaving that energy open. And it's scary. And I know that because I'm doing it. And it's like, oh yeah, fuck yeah. I get to be like number one. And so do all of you. I mean, that's that's the thing that because we have this society and great society services us in a lot of beautiful ways. It has also fucked us up to our detriment in so many ways. Okay. And so we don't have to throw it all out, but it's like, we all get to, to play big. We all get to step into exactly what we want to do. And we get to define what all of this looks and feel like for ourselves. Not people who used to say that you couldn't do it. Not, you know, whether it's like maybe in your family and people tend to all live in the same small town and you want to move out or you want to do something different and everyone's like, oh, you think you're going to do it differently? That's fine that that's the way that they feel. It's not about you. It feels like it's about you, but I promise you it's not. And there's so many ways in which that is going to show up for us. And that's why, again, May is giving us this space and this, this pause, this place to breathe in between, okay, in April, I made these big leaps. I decided this is who I want to be and I'm not apologizing for it. And I'm going after exactly what I want, right? We create our own reality with our perception. Exactly right. And, and even more than that, it's like we get to decide. Like we get to decide. It's like, yeah, there are so many aspects of my life that live outward, meaning like, you know, on these platforms and on stage and comedy. But ultimately, like, even if like we take all of that away, like I decide, like I decide, I decide, right? And same thing for you guys. And so it's like, that's what this month is about of like really having those deep inward talks with yourself of like, what is it that still is coming up for you that's telling you like, oh, I'm not worthy of that thing or 
Yeah, we, exactly. We get to decide time and time again. In the same way where I said, get busy trying shit because you're gonna have to try on a lot of different things to figure out like, oh, this is it or this is not it, right? And that sense of self-safety that we're working on is that like, leave the money on the table. Like I wanna be the one that like leaves the money on the table because, well, I'd also like to be the one where I'm at the right table and I get to take the money. But you know, where it's like the very classic, is it like the story of LeBron and he goes into Nike and they offered him all this money and he like left it on the table or something. And he's like, no, there's a better deal. And then of course there was, and he made like millions more. Right. And it's like that ability to know what is best for you because the whole world is going to tell you exactly who they think you are and whatever best services them. So getting so clear on who we are and who we are and where we want to be and, and how we want to define ourselves is everything that we're doing this month. And the way that we support ourselves in doing that, because it's like, great, we made all those decisions in April, right? We're like, okay. Like, it reminds me of um, in Home Alone, if you guys have seen that classic Christmas movie, and like, uh, Kevin McAllister has been so scared of uh, the uh, the ice slayer, the shit, what's it, what, what was it? The neighbor that he was scared of or whatever. And he comes out and he's like, I'm not afraid anymore. Do you hear me? He's like, I'm not afraid. And then like the guy shows up and he's like slams the door and runs upstairs. So it's like, that's what we're doing, right? Like we all think that we're declaring to the universe or to life, you know, as you define it of like, I'm not afraid anymore. And then one thing comes up and you're like, oh, never mind. Like, that's not what we're doing, right? We're going to be able to stand and go, this is not what we're doing. And the way in order to be able to do that is to surround yourself with this new version of yourself, right? I don't even like saying new version of yourself because I, I intuit and I believe that like whatever it is that you're feeling called to do now is like a part of you. It's always been there. So it's now it's really just letting go of all of the things that we've collected along the way, all of the opinions that we've collected along the way. And we're letting go of all of that so that like we can be a magnet for what it is that we're wanting to do. So that's why, who am I taking in? Allow your social feeds to reflect that. People all the time, and myself included, I mean, it's life, so like, relax. But we're all like, you know, it's the compare and despair or this or that. And it's like, then follow people that like you like. There are dope people doing awesome things and creating so much, yeah, to our old selves to keep the change. Exactly, I love that, right? We're staying with this home alone metaphor. Um, And so that's exactly right, of like, um... Oh, heads up, Linktree is still showing April booking. Okay, thank you so much for letting me know that. Uh, I will change that, I guess, when we jump off. Um, And that's weird. I thought we'd change it. Anyway, thank you for letting me know. I'll go and change that, Sarah. Um, So yeah, figure out, like, who are you taking in, being aware of all that, and your your social calendar. Stop hanging out with people that make you feel like shit. Stop hanging out with people who make you feel like shit, okay? Boundaries around family or things like that that's more intricate And it's like, you know, I'm not a licensed therapist, okay? So it's like, there's many more steps to being able to navigate things like that. But friends, that's fine. If they make you feel like shit and they're like, oh, but we're doing this thing, like come over to this thing and like they make you feel like shit or or you just don't like being there. It's okay if you've outgrown people, spaces, places. I've had a handful of friends outgrow me. They don't talk to me. And it's like, that didn't feel great. I'm like, well, what did you think that you needed that I wasn't giving you? But I'm like, you know what? If they needed to walk, let them walk. It's okay. It's okay, right? So really being aware of that, of like making sure that we're being aware of where we are going. The second question here is, what do I find beautiful? What do I find beautiful? And simply put, it's like beauty creates a sense of ease, okay? So this is such a big one where it's like, do you like what you're wearing? Are you like in like the clothes that you have? And this isn't like about like, but Rachel, I don't have money to go out and buy new clothes. Like that's not, that's not the essence of what I'm saying, but it's like, do you feel good? Do you feel proud of yourself? And like the things that you choose to like put on your body every day, do you like the things that are in your home? Right. And it's like, I know a lot of people that still have like, you have a bunch of roommates or whatever. And like, so maybe you don't have as much say about like all of this, like the spaces that surround you. But it's like you do have a say like in your own space. 
you know? And it's like create a space that like when you wake up, you feel refreshed, you know? It's like get rid of all of like the shit in your room you don't need. Go through your closet. There are a bunch of clothes. You're like, oh, I'll eventually wear that. You haven't. You're not, I'm telling you, you're not going to wear it, okay? One of my many jobs, I had an organizing business in Los Angeles for many years. Made a lot of money being able to actually still live in Los Angeles organizing rich people's shit. And that was always my rule of thumb. They'd be like, well, you know, I need to go through those boxes before we throw them away. I'm like, when was the last time you opened this box? Because I'll tell you, if it's been like five years, we're just throwing the whole box away. We're throwing it away because you don't know what's in the box, okay? So same thing. Like we want to create as much ease in your life as possible. Something I'm working on, because obviously I have kids, I have a husband, so we have a lot of food in the house. Oh shit, that's a thing. Uh, I mean, I make it a thing. I don't think it has to be, but like, I also don't like clutter. I'm like, I have a very overstimulated brain, shocker. Um, I'm very sensory sensitive, taking in too many things. So like, if there's a bunch of stuff that I don't need, it's like, boom. Yeah, this has shifted so much for me. Feeling good in my clothes shocked me how much it affected me. Same, same. And I'm still like redefining my body is still shifting from postpartum. My style is shifting and so again, like we talked about earlier, sometimes this, um, actually, Laura, you're the one that said it. Sometimes this, oh, I meant helping uh, wealthy people get rid of shit. It was because I made it a thing. I needed money and I was tired of uh, bartending. So I, I was like, how can I make money off of my skills? And I was like, well, I'm really good at organizing and I hate looking at clutter. So uh, I made a profile, made a website and convinced people to pay me uh, 50 bucks an hour to move their stuff and get rid of it. It was great. So highly recommend. But uh, yeah, so moving with as much ease as possible. Like, so I was saying with my family and we always end up with way more groceries. My husband's really good about like not wasting food and things like that. And But just even for my brain where I'm like, if that's not a meal we're gonna make this week, then like, I don't want it. I want it in the refrigerator. Like the more just space, that's what ease is, right? Because a lot of times if I say your life should be easy, we go to this, you know, idea of easy of like that everything should work out. It's like, that's not what I'm saying. But in your life, you should be able to move with ease. There should be space for you so that when those hard days come up, when those tough choices come up, there's space in your life to be able to take that on. And when we have it cluttered with like too many people we're following, too much shit in our house, you know, uh, emails that we haven't checked, bills that we keep deferring, like whatever it is, you literally do not have that energetic space to handle hard shit, to handle difficult shit, because you're still trying to piecemeal all the other shit, right? Ah, uh, what a poet. Okay. And the third part is how can I surround myself with more of what I want to be? So I am really struggling in the best way possible of like really leaping to the other side of like who I'm really becoming and who I'm really wanting to show up as. And like, obviously I won't bore you with it, but there's a lot of moving parts. A lot of it is with my business and different things. And so there are a lot of things right now that are happening behind the scenes that everybody doesn't get to see yet. And that can be really difficult for me because it's like, oh, but I'm almost there, but like nobody knows yet. And again, that goes back to that thing of like, well, and also if it's for everybody else, then you're already fucked. You know what I mean? Like it's gotta be for you. So, so much of that of like really making this jump over of like, okay, in that, in this new person and what I'm becoming, like, how do I show up? Who am I hanging out with? Who am I touching base with? How am I eating? How am I moving my body, right? Like I've had a bunch of issues with over caffeinating. Now, it wasn't over caffeinating before, but for whatever reason, all this energy has moved through my body. We can't do caffeine that way. And yet I have still been so stubborn and I'm like, no, it's fine. It's fine. I'll drink that much caffeine today. And then I have a fucking panic attack. And then now I don't feel bad for myself because it's like, oh, really? Well, you know what, idiot? You know that when you drink caffeine before you've eaten a meal, okay, you're going to feel like shit. All right. And a smoothie is not a meal. That might be protein, but you need to eat something, right? So I share that with you because I'm sure there are very simple things where it's like, oh, well, I don't know why it's not working. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. If I had to guess, yeah, you do. And so slow down and pay attention to those things so that you set yourself up for success, 
There's so many things that we don't have the answer to that feel unknown that when you receive those knowns, when you know those things that like are true for yourself and then you still like act in disservice of yourself, that's on you. And I mean, me too. Like I'm also doing, you know what I mean? Like no judgment. I'm here for it. You can only teach it if you're living it. But that's just those things of like, you know, with this idea of surroundings of like, can you split up and make a list of what are the things that are in my control of where I'm wanting to go versus like, what are the things I can't? Again, that creates that sense of ease. So when you find yourself feeling frustrated or you're in these places and it's like, oh, why isn't it working? You can just go back to that list. You already have written down. You already have the evidence of like, oh, that's because that's in a column of like shit I can't control. Right. And then we don't need to give it any more attention and we don't need to pay any more time to it because we already know, oh, that's in the column of shit that like I can't control. Right. So underneath the third column of how can I surround myself with more of what I want to be? I was like, join a gym, start a meetup, call an old friend, work at a new coffee shop. I mean, maybe that's actually like being a barista, but I meant more like, you know, maybe finding a new coffee shop that you really like. And maybe that's where you want to write from or build your new website from you know, just surrounding yourself in, in places that feel beautiful, that feel that they're places of ease. And I will share this too, because I often find in some of the things that I'm, um, action steps that I'm doing to like manifest these next big things that I want, I will come up against old beliefs, right? And I'm like, I'll, I'll cap in my mind how much money I can make for something only because I'm like, well, really rich people I don't like, they're all assholes. Or, oh, people that are in those you know circles or those type of influencers or that type of celebrity fame. And so I block myself from receiving really big things because I'm like, well, I don't want to do it that way. Guess what, friends? You get to do it in whatever way you want to. Let's look at case in point, right? Jeff Bezos and Mackenzie. When they were married, right, it was like you could say like, okay, well, they're both billionaires and that's their life. And now they're divorced and it's like, you know, energetically, Jeff Be Bezos is very much about <clears throat> Jeff Bezos, right? And so it would be easy for us to go, oh, well, they're both from the same marriage, so they must both be operating in the same reality. False. Mackenzie has shown us this amazing, you know, new sense of self, also like very clear. And she should have left that marriage a long time ago. And boy, do we love her. But, um, you know, like the amount of money that she's uh, donated, all the different places that she's got involved with philanthropy. And so it is where it's like the abundance and blessing is there for you so that you can help other people. Because when we are moving with a sense of ease and we feel safe and we feel comfortable and we feel beautiful as you define it, I don't necessarily mean like, oh, hey girl, you're beautiful, but like you feel beautiful, that shit attracts. Exactly, it's limiting beliefs. That shit attracts and that helps people, that opens other people up. So I just share that so that when you also hit those like, ah, and the more you do this work, those limiting beliefs are going to get higher and higher, right? The lar I'm, I'm dealing with larger amounts of money. I'm dealing with bigger opportunities. And then I'll still get that of like, oh, well, maybe that's not like, I don't, and it's like, no, I get to decide. I get to decide how I want that to go, how I want it to feel, who I want to help, who I want to show up for, right? We have to get our mojo on. Exactly. I love that. Mojo Dojo Casa House. Like you get to decide, you get to decide. And that's what all of this is about. That's what this entire month energetically is about. Although I've broken it down into five weeks and into five lessons of that overall, you know, this May lesson is called harnessing the new you. Yeah. Remember to have compassion for ourselves too while changing these beliefs. Exactly. That's not going to happen overnight. It's going to take time. Like I said, I mean, all of these shifts and stuff that I've been making for myself, I've been working on them for a while, a long time, right? And so it is, it's knowing that like today I had a pretty, a harder mental health day, which I don't always struggle with, but like from the moment I woke up, it was just like, this is ugly, you're ugly, everything sucks. And, oh, I feel clear headed already after listening. I'm so happy to hear that. I'm so happy to hear that, my friend, right? And I had to be compassionate with myself and be like, you know what? Or maybe today, it's just not not the day and that's okay. But it doesn't mean I'm like a big fat idiot, you know, like we, it's like there's, there's balance in between there, right? Um, we don't have to, don't believe everything you think, right? The very classic thing. So that is what this whole month is about is 
is harnessing that new you and giving yourself that time to take the training wheels off and figure out how you're feeling and how to get comfortable. Uh, next week, we're going to talk about all, um, we're talking about new paths. So how to create, now we've figured out what makes us feel safe, this sense of self-safety. We're going to talk about our surroundings. How can we create more ease in our surroundings, paying attention to those limited beliefs. And then next week, we're going to talk about new paths. How can we begin to forge or look for new paths in the way that we do things? Some of that may even be neuro, um, like neuro paths. How can we create like, okay, every time that limiting belief comes out, how can I replace it with something else, right? Uh, I fear a large audience because I will be judged. Ooh, I'm excited for a big audience because they will be able to teach me something as well, right? You're very welcome, my friend. Thank you for being here. I, it's, it's only as good as, as what I get to share. So thank you for being here. So yeah, uh, like Sarah said, right when we jump off, I will replace in my link in bio. So the new May uh, workbook will be there. Also, just so you know, uh, any you can literally uh, DM me uh, in my stories for any story and just DM Misfit and you will have the workbook automatically sent to you. So literally any story, like you can DM Misfit and it will automatically send to you. You're so welcome and have fun on your retreat. That sounds amazing. Um, so yeah, I will update that. We've got the rest of this month and then we're going to be going uh, dark with the Misfit Light for summer because like I was talking about those things behind the scenes, Mama's cooking up uh, some really fun ways to make this more interactive. We can see each other, we can talk and really creating this more of the community, which is what it's meant to be. So I'm going to be taking the summer off so that I can renegotiate and figure that out um, and really put it into practice and then boom, late summer going into very, very early fall. Uh, it's going to be back up and running. So, uh, yeah, I will get that workbook up for you and just, yeah, be so kind to yourself, drink water, take care of yourself, uh, DM me if anything comes up throughout the week, I would love to hear what's going on for you, what's coming up for you. And so go be wonderful and like go fucking kill it. Cause I'm so excited for all the things that you're going to do and create because it just makes the world a better place. All right. I love you so much. Tune out, tune in, love you, mean it.